Hello people, as you can see, today we're going to talk about reprints. Now, I made a previous video which was titled Pokemon Reprint, Red on Pokemon Reprint, and uh, basically this is a follow-up, and uh, I'm, I'm going to try to explain one concept. Um, I explain, I mean, I tried to give you food for some thought in that video, throwing out some concept there, and I will try to go deeper, dig deeper into what I call reprint theory, which is obviously a made up term. It would be basically the fact that the Pokemon market is efficient. So it respects the EMH efficient market hypothesis. Now, what are we gonna talk about today? So before we get started, quick intro, some spoilers on what's coming on the channel. A video that might come tomorrow or the day after is a pretty, a pretty cool video in my opinion. Um, it's gonna be exposing PokeTubers. I'm gonna start with one. Um, not gonna mention names, that's not my style. I will just mention facts and um, I don't wanna put under any bet light, if that makes sense, anyone. Uh, I just wanna tell you what's happening in the hobby. Uh, but more than a hobby, uh, when, when it comes to investing, I'm very strict uh, because if, if you say something and you have a large following, and uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, and the problem is that if some people, uh, unfortunately, uh, they can understand that you don't know what you're talking about. Um, so talking, saying a bit of craps, a bit of nonsense, um, and uh, not telling people some things that they should know, I think it's it's really bad. I don't think it's a, a good thing to say. So, but more, more will come in uh, the following video. Then bot updates, I posted a video which for some reason didn't get many views. It hasn't been spammed by YouTube. So I recommend you take a look at it. It should be popping up right here or some, somewhere. Um, and uh, it's uh, it, if you don't know what the Discord bot is, it's a pretty cool tool. I would definitely go check it out. And it got some major updates um, recently, last week, a couple of days ago. And then more cool videos coming. I wrote down a few video ideas, which are they here? Yes, they're here. Uh, one is uh, don't buy what you love. It's a really stupid thing that people, many people say. Uh, it's when it comes to investing, it's one of the dumbest thing you could do. And uh, well, I, I won't spoil uh, too much. Now straight into the video. Reprint scenario. What is reprint scenario? So what I call a reprint scenario is. So we have two scenario, which basically, I mean, they're the same thing. I just need more slide for the. PowerPoint presentation. So the ribbon scenario and the no ribbon scenario. Now they two, they, they work together. So what I mean by that is, and this is the whole point of the video. So I'll try to be as clear as possible and as short as possible. Now this, nobody tells, at least all the videos I watch, nobody tells you about this. Um, it's not a secret. It's just knowing, uh, being aware of how these markets operate and how the people involved in these markets, which by definition are the market, operate. So I haven't heard anyone talking about it. Maybe some will, did, I don't know. Most people I follow, some are, are pretty uh, well known. So I'm sure if, if you watch me, you watch them. They don't talk about it. Why? I don't know. It's possible that I, they don't know this thing exists. Now, the thing is, if it all comes down to pricing. Why is Brilliant Star priced at what? One, I think it went down a bit, 180, $190. Why is it 180, $190? Well, you may argue the value of this bus is 180, $190. I always, if you've been around the channel, you know I, was, I struggle when people talk to me about value and then mention a number. That's price. Value is a different thing. Now, I agree that you can measure value, one of the measure of value is price. I can give you that. Saying this is worth hundred dollars, hundred eighty, two hundred, whatever. Yes, okay. Saying the value went up, that I do have a problem. Uh, did the value go up? Uh, uh, did, did something change inside this box that it made the value of this piece of cardboard wrapped in plastic go up? I don't know. Um, I don't think so. So the thing is, if this box we're supposed to get more reprints. If the market, so people interest in this box, which are called the market participants, which are part of 
the market, the market for a brilliant Starbucks. If the people interest in a brilliant Starbucks, which are gonna, we're gonna call them the market participants in this market. What is the market? It's the market for a brilliant Starbucks. Now, if you wanna buy this and you think it's gonna get a reprint, then what you do is you're forecasting that because of a reprint, the price is gonna go lower. Now, this actually is one of the worst example I could get, but it was the box that had the closest. Let's imagine this is a Poldia Evolved box. Now, Poldia Evolved is trading $430, right? So if you are interested in purchasing a Poldia Evolved box, you are a market participant for a Poldia Evolved box, booster box. Now, if you didn't think a print, reprint was ever gonna come, most likely you would have bought at let's say 100, 110, or perhaps even right now, 130, right? The thought that a reprint might happen may withdraw you from purchasing a fully evolved box right now. We're talking about T equals zero right now. It may happen for tomorrow as well. It may happen for the day after tomorrow. It may happen for a month from now. You will, may still think that because of the possibility of a reprint, you're not going to buy that box. Now, let me let me tell you something. You're not the only one. There's a whole bunch of people that because they think a reprint may come, they are not going to buy the box today. Again, let's assume this is pull the evolved box. Now, because of that, there is a bunch of buyers that are withdrawn from that market, the Poldia Evolved Booster Box market, and uh, by not buying, they're not making the price of the box go higher. Are you following me? I'll say it again. I'll say it in simple terms. This is Poldia Evolved. If I think this is gonna get a reprint, me, average Timmy, I will not buy it. I will wait for a reprint. If it comes, then I will most likely buy it, right? Now, we're, me, the average Timmy, I'm not the only one thinking like that. There's many Timmys out there thinking the same thing, right? You could be one of them. I could be, I mean, I, I do think it might come eventually in a reprint. I already got boxes at 90 euros, but that's not important. What is important is if you think a reprint is gonna come, you're not gonna buy. Or maybe you're buy, but uh, you will you may have bought a 90, and if a reprint will come, you are interested in purchasing again after a reprint comes. Right? That's possible. If that's possible, if that's your case, you are demand. You are demand that is withdrawn from the market of Opalia Evolved Booster Box. The moment you are withdrawn from that market, you're no longer buying. If you're no longer buying, you're making the price being at $130. If you were to buy, right? Let's say you wanted to buy now, then you will be you will be participating in that market actively, and uh, you will be making the price move higher. Now, if it's only you buying one box, the price is not going to move. If, as I said, and as it is, many teamies out there are going to buy tomorrow a bunch of Poly Evolved booster boxes because tomorrow the Pokemon company says we're not going to reprint Poly Evolved. I can assure you that price is going to go higher, right? That's the whole efficient market hypothesis. The price of an item of a financial instruments, this, if you, if you think this is an investment, this is no longer a box, this is financial instruments and you need to treat it as such. Now, you may be like all the other out there, be, oh, well, if it goes to zero, I'll, I'll have fun opening. Well, you don't understand a thing if you say that. You're not investing, you're just playing with Pokemon cards, which is fine, but don't say you're investing. Now, I think my point is clear. And if it's not, please let me know in the comments uh, if something that wasn't clear, or if you think I'm wrong, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to discussion as long as it's uh, constructive, as well as you can join the Discord, obviously, and we can talk in there. Like, Barry, I don't agree with you because of this, because of that. Um, I'm always open to discussion because I genuinely think if it's, it's not a one-way scenario where Barry, you don't understand nothing, uh, you will never succeed, you're an idiot. Okay, why? Uh, well, because of what you say. Okay, why Why? Why do you think so? Oh, oh, I just do. That's not constructive. I have nothing to learn from that. If you do have some genuine reasons or why you disagree with me, then I'll happily listen. I, I'm not kidding. I, I know 
pretend to know in front of a camera. I, that, that, that's just me. I'm, I like to learn. Now, again, that's basically what happens with, uh, with boxes and reprints. If, uh, if you knew a reprint was never going to come, you would have bought, right? Now, it is also possible. That's the only counter argument you can make, and it's true. It's also possible that, let's say, me, average Timmy, and all the Timmys out there want to buy a Bupaldi Evolved Booster Box today. We want to buy them. I mean, we don't want to buy them today because of the reprint, and we want to buy them after the reprint comes. Now, it is possible that, again, I'm withdrawing from that market, so the price of that box is going to be lower because I'm not buying it, right? And when I say I, I mean all the me and the team is out there, so we. So like thousands, of, I don't know, thousands, it could be thousands of people, definitely thousands of boxes, though, um, which is a good enough, a good portion uh, of the market um, that will move the market, right? I hope we all agree on that. Thousands of boxes will move the market. Now, if, let's say, a year from now, a reprint comes, then I might change my mind, right? I might say, well, a year back, I wanted to buy after a reprint. Today, the reprint has come. I don't, I'm not interested anymore. Now, that is possible. And uh, the way the market should operate is it should adjust, right? Uh, what should happen is that compared to my forecast right now, right? So, let me give you an example. Today... I am forecasting that a year from now, I will buy a poly evolved uh, booster box if a reprint comes, right? So me and all the teams out there, that's what we think. That's what we are saying to ourselves. That's how we will ha act, right? So by doing that, we are not making the price go higher today. And uh, in a year from now, T equal one, then we will make after a drops in price because the reprint will then be the demand to bring price higher, right? If that's not the case, then what will happen is price today, T equals zero, is going to be the same. Tomorrow, T equals one, which is a year from now, after a reprint, we're not, if we don't buy anymore, it, will, it should be lower than expected, right? Than with my previous forecast that I just mentioned. That's what should happen. If I'm not buying anymore, then that price should be lower. Again, remember, I say I, I mean th many people buying thousands of boxes. That's, I think it's a plausible and uh, I think it's a hypothesis we can make, right? You could assume, I mean, you could be, again, you could be watching, you could be thinking, well, I'm not, I'm not buying PE because I think a reprint is come. You could be one of them, right? So I think what I say makes sense. So that being said, that's how the market moves. That's how the market operates because that's how it works, right? Again, if you don't agree with me, let me know down in the comments. Let me know in the Discord. Join. If you do, then don't forget to smash the like button as well as subscribe if you want to see more. And all I can say is thank you guys. Stay, stay safe out there. Don't, uh, it, you know, when some, someone is yelling, is smiling, is saying, oh, the, look, this is free money. Why, why, why aren't you listening to me? It, you know what, it reminds me of all, you know, the crypto gurus, the real estate gurus out there. When something is too good to be true, it usually is. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.